What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dominaria draft here on magiconline.uk.edu. And uh, I like Shiv and Fire a lot. I like Blink of an Eye a lot. But I think I'm just going to try this Kazarov Sengir Pureblood. Uh, I had this guy at the pre-release. He was pretty strong. He does cost 7 mana, but... Uh, Uh, he's pretty strong. In case you guys didn't know. Like, Elfham Druid's also very, very good. But, I mean, this guy... This is just where you want to be, I think. This is just a, this is just a powerful card. I, also, I don't play a lot of black, so... Oh. Oh, my. If we take Arved, what are the odds of the Primeval's Glorious Rebirth Tables? 100%, right? We also want to be blue, though. Or we want to be red, but I think I'm fine without caring. We could just use compass, too. Let's find out. Yeah, rebirth is terrible. It's always come back. But, final parting. We can search. Oh, I actually like this. We can search for the... the the rebirth, and then we can put a legendary in the graveyard. Ooh, gas. I'm going to take this. Also, a Shivan Fire and a Mesa Unicorn, which are probably both better. But we're trying to do cool stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Frank, need you to settle something for you? Can you confirm that every day is, in fact, Chicken Sunday? My friend disagrees, and he is wrong. Your friend is completely wrong. Every day is Chicken Sunday, more more. And uh, if your friend has any problem with that, he should come talk to me, and I can play the video where Mike confirmed that every day is Chicken Sunday. I didn't even think that was a question. Josh VS, uh, Chicken Sunday is a completely different experience than Chicken Sunday. Lich's Mastery, that's a legendary permanent, right? That's going to go right in the graveyard. Also, let's just play Mardu, right? Can we just can we just be Marduing? I mean, it's probably Gideon's Reproach here. We want some removal. Let's not get too crazy, I guess. Um, uh, I like Acolyte. I like Candle a little bit better, though. I don't think Acolyte's super exciting. I don't want to mill three. Like, milling three is... I'm not thrilled about it. We had this whole discussion the other day, but... I don't know, man. Instinctually, it just doesn't feel good. Plus, we already have two five drops. I think Candle's good. Candle, Candle solves some problems that you want solved in this format. I'm going to take this unicorn. Oh, actually, Thalad Omnivore is very good. Oh, come on. Did I get you finally? No. Okay. You'll just live here now. This is your sure home. Yeah, I don't think Sergeant's bad by any means. I'm going to take the unicorn. Uh, I'll just take Feral Abomination. This deck doesn't seem bad. It just seems kind of in the middle of the road right now. I do want a way to activate this guy. Even if you just activate it once a turn, like, dealing two to a creature is pretty, pretty good. Lich's Lunch is so good. Can't believe you passed. I have no idea what that means. Um, I actually kind of like Fungal Infection here. 
I think it is Trapper, especially with the number of historic cards we're gonna we're gonna rack up here. Oh my God, Zaxor! I like that you post them twice when I missed them the first time. Oh, hold on. None of these cards are super exciting. Oh, Navigator's Compass is, uh, as we've noticed, a, a pretty decent card in this format. It's also historic, so it triggers Trapper. Uh, we can also put it in the graveyard of Final Parting if we never want to see it again, so that's pretty cool. Oh, man, our thing didn't come back, dude. That's really sad. I guess we're just hard casting our cards. God, like suckers, man. Oh, the Lich's Mastery came back, though. Sure. Excuse me. The Marari Conjecture. Yeah, probably not playing that. And Sarah's Wings is probably where we want to be right here. I like Lingering Phantom, but I think On Sarah's Wings is just significantly better. Marari Conjecture is actually pretty good. But we're not blue, for obvious reasons. I'm going to take On Sarah's Wings. Rona is great, I agree with you, but I don't want to I don't want to be going five colors every draft. Wow, the weather light. I'm surprised someone passed this. They took a foil. Un they took an uncommon out of the pack. Over the weather light. Huh. How is this? I don't think this is great in our deck, right? For each one life lost, exile a permanent you control or a card from your hand. Oh, Memorial. Ah, squee! Hmm. Squee seems pretty good. Right? We can final parting squeeze into the graveyard. It is double red. That's my big issue. I might be Mesa Unicorn over Memorial. Uh, we were being serious with Squee because I don't think we have enough red, to, uh, enough white to discount red cards. But I'm taking Unicorn. I like Dark Bargain. I also like Shiv and Fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, Squee is great and limited. Like, you just keep playing him. It's super obnoxious. Memorial to Folly could just be good. It could just be better than Soul Salvage. I think it's probably Shivan Fire, though. Uh, actually, I like Dark Bargain here. I'm going to take Dark Bargain. I want ways to draw cards. 
and uh, this is pretty good. Could be Second Trapper, could also be Stronghold Confessor, could also be Short Sword. I like Confessor. But it is a 4 drop. Like, it's 100% a 4 drop. Trapper actually is nice into Weatherlight. I think it's Trapper here. I don't think we need more control. Our deck is... I don't think our deck is necessarily a control deck. Yeah, I'm going to play Trapper. I'm going to take Adamant Will. That is a solid card. Yeah, I'll take the Confessor here. Oh, Invoke is probably where, I, where we want to be. Avon Sentry and a Sergeant at Arms. Oh, both of those are pretty good. Yeah, it's probably Avon Sentry. Maybe. Are you guys really thinking we're playing Lich's Mastery in here? That's pretty funny. We can actually invoke our own Lich's Mastery when it gets out of hand. There we go. I was hoping the sergeant came back. Oh, wow. Memorial came back? Oh, that's great. Sure. <coughs> I meant spells that kill things. Oh, so you mean removal is what you're saying. I got gotcha. you. Oh my god, every game, dude. How do we keep getting this? Oh, when it leaves the battlefield, you lose the game? Well, that's the thing. We're not going to be doing that, I guess. <laughs> this is good enough to splash. I agree with you. We're also not terrible on the legendaries. Well, we got three, I guess. Oh, and also, it's also, it's only legendary creature or planeswalker. I guess we crew this, right? If we crew this, it turns into a legendary creature, so. You're always going to be four to me. You're always going to be a six to me. You're always going to be in the sideboard to me. I think it's probably Baird. But I'm really tempted to take this, especially because we do have Kazarov. Double red, though. Our deck is not very intensive, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I think it's, I think it's so much better than Baird, that like if we somehow manage to get a bunch of like surveying surveyors, or uh, or more compasses, like I think it's so much better. I'll take a Shivan Fire. I always see Oath of Teferi, and it's so tilting. I'm like, oh, oh, you're an Oath of Teferi. I see. I see. Here's a Yargle, and we can put it on Sarah's wings on it. And it's also a legendary for Jaya's... Yeah, I'm going to take this. We are going to play Yargle. Oh, I wish this was... Oh, man, I wish this was... Uh, a cliff top retreat instead. That would be so much better. 
Here's the Yargle. Here's the Yargle number two. That's uh, that's a flying 10-4, good buddy, with lifelink, don't forget. Hmm. Car zone, feel free to share. I really just want to deny this wild onslaught to someone else. And also we could just potentially even splash it off of navigators. Wow. They're just gonna they're just gonna rub it in my face now. Now I'm just taking this land. I'm not gonna play a second advent will or a soul salvage. I'm just gonna take it a land. I don't even care. I want to put this in the deck because if we draw, this card is just too good. It's just too good. Too good. I wish I had one Galdarn biscuit. You know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. Spore Swarm is also pretty good. War Chief also not very good. All right, so we get no Surveying Scouts. That's really sad. Also, Yargo gets plus two, plus two from Arvad, so. Just pick a mountain. You just passed one. I love it. I love it. I don't hate Guardians. I, God, I wish this was tapping for colored mana every single time. Valid Omnivore, huh? I don't think you're very good, I'll be honest with you. Hey, you're great, actually. This is a great card. In our deck, though, not good. I kind of like Divest. Eh. Banalish Honor Guard, not the worst. Certainly not the best. Another Confessor. Do we have anything that's good with Poet? Oh, I guess we can get back our Lich's Mastery. I'll just take another Confessor. Eh, you're not great, but you'll do. All right, so as the deck is, we need two cuts. I think one is Immolating Inferno. Actually, like, our deck is not mana. Like, we're not super color intensive here, right? We have one double, two double black cards and no double white cards, and that's it. I'm going to take Guardians out because I don't think you're very good. And I also think, don't think Drudge Sentinel is very good. Actually, Soul Salvage is probably pretty bad. But being able to get, like, Kara, Kara, Karazov and, like... Yeah, I guess I don't care about that that much. Final Parting. Being able to search for a Jaya Simulating Blast or a Mountain if we need one. We have one triple black card. Oh my god, you guys are ridiculous. I think we can run four mountains and a compass. I think that's totally fine. About to close on a house next week? Rob, don't you own the house you live in? I didn't know that. I thought you owned a house. 14 months in a row. Rob, thank you so much, buddy. I love you and I miss you too. I actually just thought about you the other day and I was like, man, where is Rob? 
I thought you forgot about me. Forever. Forever. I also rent my house. Unbelievable. You mean, after all this time, we were both renting houses together? forget about you impossible cut red play to vest uh okay the red is great i don't know what you're talking about how do you pronounce your name two weeks is it two weeks make me feel some kind of weeks that doesn't make any sense that was actually terrible why would you say that i don't know it's not very good yeah i think drudge sentinel is the doo-doo that needs to get cut from the the sandwich that is the doo doo sandwich of the. I got nothing here, guys. I'm sorry. So we're going to go four, seven, 13, 14, 16, 17. Cut you down one. I may even go three. Seven, seven, three. I like that with the compass. God, we are so greedy. But, like I said, Final Parting also does get this. Is the red too greedy? I don't think so. Yeah, the com we already had the compass discussion. We can play invoke, but like I just I think invoke is actually fine on the sideboard in this format. Like How many historic cards do we have? Like a lot, right? I guess I can't move things. One, two, three. Oh, it's actually artifacts, legendaries, and saga. So one, two, three. Oh, this is a legendary. So three, four, five, six, seven. Like seven hits. It's actually pretty good. Hands perfect. Perfect hand. Thanks, compass. We basically mulligan to six because of the compass, but I, I don't. I think that's a small price to pay for. Being able to fix your entire life. And we have the double red for uh, Immolating Inferno, just to be clear, guys. <laughs> Made it happen. It's going to be Immolating Inferno right here. Ready? Magic was like, you called? It was not. It was camera, camera resolve. If Mike was my bodyguard, I'd actually feel more afraid than if Mike wasn't my bodyguard. Oh, no blocks. I don't know if I cast this guy here. I don't think so. I think he's just better in the late game.
Oh, look at this guy. Land. Beautiful. So what difference what differentiates kettle corn kettle chips from regular chips? Uh I don't think that's a I don't think that's a a uh, dangerous question. Uh, regular chips are fried, like in oil. I imagine. I think. I think. I'm not. I'm not 100 familiar with the chip making process. Um, regular chips are fried, and kettle corn chip, kettle cook, kettle cooked chips are actually like cooked in pressure cookers. Is that correct? So they crisp up more. They're they're crunchier. Any of this sound right? Yeah, I like not playing this guy. Anyway, land, we get to play this guy, land, we get to play this guy, and this guy's real good at taking over a thing. Your basic bag chip is fried in a conveyor belt like continuous process. Kettle chips have a pre industrial pedigree. They're made in batches. Dunk in a batch. Dunk a batch, take them out, dunk a batch more. Courtesy. Okay, interesting. Oh, they're going to 14? Whew. Brutal. They're basically dead. How do you come back from this? Divest. Well, that's unfortunate. Feeling pretty good here, at least. I came here to chew butt and kick ice, but I don't have any ice or teeth. Well, that's awkward. The vest is amazing, actually, in limited. Like, it's the card you want in limited. Like, I, and it's like the card you want. I don't know what that means. But uh, it's definitely fine. It's, it's, as far as discard spells, right? It's I think it's better than, like, a card like Inquisition. Uh, I mean, Thoughtseize is obviously Thoughtseize. So that doesn't really, doesn't really compete. But, um, I mean, like, it's, the difference is, like, being able to hit a creature is just huge. And this is a format where there's actually a good amount of, uh, equipment, so. Hmm, I see. Well, we're not gonna. What did they? What did you do with the cards here? One card on the bottom and one card on the top. That's interesting. Look at the way they parse this now. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. <clears throat> and we're still not wasting this guy. We're just gonna play Blood Tallow Candle. Call it a day. Uh, I can't really I can't really figure how uh, MTG Arena would have other formats because 
I mean, look at how let's look at how slowly um it it's it's been to get the standard formats in there. They're still not all there. Right? Like there's no Kaladesh, there's no Aether Revolt. And modern is basically like 54 extra extra sets or something ridiculous. Where were you last turn? So I don't actually understand, like, the time frame to implement every single modern set, which is like a million, to implement all of the interactions, to implement all of the... What are you doing right now? Oh my god. What are you, Sphinx's Revelation? That's pretty good. This is actually surprisingly good. There are two, they have to deal with both of these. They have no lifelink. We're at 32. Okay, that's dealing with one of them. Just casually have two flyers. Cool. <laughs> Three cards in hand? Yeah, two of them are flyers. Why wouldn't they be? If we get a land, we can still do a thing, I guess. Ah, Menacio, I see. Legendary land. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. Legendary land. I don't even know what I was going to say there. Neg five, neg five, huh? So we'll kill this guy. We attack with both, but then that doesn't do anything, I guess. That's sad. So they, they double block here. We trade with this guy. You take three. All right. It's They still have menace, but they still have three flyers. Like I don't our flyer has menace. He's at five. You guys are you guys okay? You guys know how magic works? They have their life total right here. They can block two. Well they can block one, but they're at five, so this guy gains three life. Alright, we, we figured it out. You guys got it. Jersey Edel, I actually feel the same exact way. As a as a viewer, I feel like Arena is actually more difficult to watch. There's too much going on. Interesting. Well, we're definitely going to candle one of the flyers. It just doesn't do enough, unfortunately. So you have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 power. And we can get rid of 5 of it, which puts you to 7. We can deal with 4 of it. So if they put all the guys in front, we can't kill them all. We can kill both of these. And then they still have this to deal with our Avon Sentry. The kids, they love the flashes and the pops, Jerry. I don't think all in is the way to go here. <laughs> I think passing, keeping up Blood Tallow Candle, and also keeping up Dark Bargain is the way to go. A 
Oh, well. So Dark Bargain is only going to make us take two and discard both cards instead, so that's really sad. And we're definitely going to Blood Tunnel Candle something at the end of their turn. And then if we draw any removal spell for the second flyer, we're in great shape, so... Top deck mode, it's going to be a land. How did I know it was going to be a land? Because I'm magic land playing man. Doesn't make any sense. Why would you say that? Come on, Immolating Inferno. One time, one time. The alpha has to be imminent, right? <clears throat> I also feel like I'm rushed every time I play Arena. And the difference is, like, you have a time limit on Hearthstone and you have a time limit on Arena. But the difference is Magic is a much more complicated game than Hearthstone. And you have so many more points of, of action, right? Like, I can do a thing in response to your thing. I can respond to you responding to my thing. Like, there's so many layers upon layers in, in magic that aren't there in Hearthstone, which is why it, it benefits to have a clock like this, like 1844, 1813, where, you know, it goes back and forth and you can, you can, um, you can ration out your times proportionally for both players. All right. So they have to double block here, which they, they would be fine to do. This guy would stick around. This guy would die. And we just don't have an incentive to not... And they also, the more cards they have in the blue-black deck, the worse it is for us, I feel like. Their deck looks great, by the way. There is a syncopate in here. Keep in mind. Here we go. Something busted. That's not busted at all. Okay. Okay, all of this is fine. I don't know why you didn't play those guys sooner. Yeah, you had to have one of those in your hand last turn. Click a card to put into your hand. This one. Click a card to put into your graveyard. Planes. There's nothing we can get back from the graveyard, right? No. Wait, we can just win right here, right? We tap down this flyer. No, we can't. Oh, yes, we can. We have a legendary creature. It's right here. This is a legendary sorcery, so it is historic. Which lets us tap down the 5-6, which means they can't block here. And we put them to 1. I mean, we're not going to be able to play around Syncopate. Like, it has to be an unwind, right? Did we misclick? No, I'm just thinking about it. One.
I mean, alternatively, we can just wait to untap, hope they don't have removal for this guy. And try to kill them like that. Either way, this guy gets tapped, so we are attacking. They can make this guy indestructible, which is a good use of their mana. If you have like if you have a counter spell, you just counter this, right? We did deal one to them. It's right here. We're just waiting. I mean, if you have a counter spell or a removal spell, you have one card. God. Woo boy. Yeah, thick boy is too quiet, so we'll do it again. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I had the uh, desktop audio muted, unfortunately. Divest seems perfect in this matchup. Uh, so does Invoke. And we only saw Gilded Lotus, but I think that's enough to Invoke, so... Plus, if they have Imbolus's clutches or something. Wow, final parting for Jaya's Immolating Inferno. Just fantastic. Your Inferno is tiny but powerful. I also didn't... We didn't see a ton of removal either, so... I'll take Honor Guard out. I don't want to take a creature out, though. We actually don't have a ton of creatures in our deck right now. Actually, when they made us discard uh, Kazimarov, I kind of wanted to just... Uh, why are we dropping Compass? The Compass literally won us the game because it helped us double ca the double red. Thank you. DM Harnack, thank you so much for the sub five months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. I, I wouldn't say it won us the game. We had two red in play, but it allowed us to play... I guess we would just tap differently. Candle seems fine, too. We don't have that much removal is the problem. I'll take Adamant Will out, actually. Now, Salvage seems good. I like Salvage because they don't... They had... They had, like, cards like Divest. And if we put, like, something... If we put, like, Karamazov... I'm just making up his name at this point. If we put Karamazov in the graveyard with, uh... Uh, Final Parting, we can get it back with Soul Salvage, so... You know, good times, good times. Compass. Oh. I like it. Uh, how nice. I'm actually going to hold this until we get a trapper or something. Hmm. Speak of the devil. I'm just going to kill this guy now. He's going to be very good against us, so... Oh, pure blood. That's a good. That's a good name. I like. I like your strategy, Alan. I will syncopate for one. You no get the uh, devon trapper. 
I changed my mind. You can have your trap here. I will vicious hunger your trap here. Okay, you got it, buddy. You win. Everybody wins. As a late arcanist. Um, I'm going to assume you do have... Matthew Ori, dude, every day is Chicken Sunday, buddy. That's the good thing about Chicken Sunday. There's always another Chicken Sunday. I know they have it. Because they were tempted to use it, but then they were like, no, I can just use Vicious Offering on it instead. So I'm just going to play Unicorn. We know they have Cinco Pato in hand. Oh, so if we hit land, you can we can actually play Birdman. Where's my land? That's nah, beautiful. Oh, we can't because the Arcanist. I'm a terrible magic player. I forgot. I feel bad now. <coughs> oh, I knew it was there too. I knew it was there. Oh my god. Maybe one day we'll get to play our Dark Bargain. And we're both on zero cards. The top deck mode is real for this crew. Oof. Top deck city. Murder, dirt, dirt. I'm a little lad who loves top decking legendary vehicles. Do we play Honor Guard or do we just make some gentlemen? Probably Honor Guard. I think we've got the lands in play. See, it's funny. Before crewing the Weatherlight, you have to crew with both. But once you crew the Weatherlight, the Honor Guard is sufficient to crew it by itself. Oh, yeah, here we go. And whiff, but that's fine. It's still four, it's still a four or five flyer, guys. I accept. Does not profitably block my weather light, though, just to be clear. Give me something good. Tell me something good. Boom, 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 boom. Eventually, we're going to hit some good stuff. Oh. I'll take Sengir per Pure Blood. That seems gas if we hit another land. <laughs> oh boy. The threats are coming, boys. The Caligo Skin Witches are coming. Oh, just a, just a, a Zahid, Jinn of the Lamp. That guy's really big. Land. I actually want to land right now. That nah, doesn't do anything for us. This guy's not an enchantment creature or something.
<laughs> yeah, I don't think we're fine. I don't know how Twitch works. John Graham, <laughs> you're killing it today, buddy. <clears throat> and I'm just dying. So, everybody wins. I only have two cards, though. I feel like this guy's in pretty good shape if he hits, but... What do I know? Am I right? Oh, no attacks. I like it. Give me all the time in the world to draw that land. I'm just going to Windmill Slam this guy. I'm not going to play around a counter spell you may or may not have, which is the only thing you can have a single paid here, so. <laughs> if you don't end of turn kill it, I feel like you can't. Ooh. Oogie boogie. Oh, God. You're going to in, in, in Bolus's clutch. Oh, all right. All right. I actually, in, in Bolus's clutches, let's do that. I got the invoke here, buddy. Two lands in the graveyard. No, that's not how that works, right? Did any of these come from anywhere? Oh, these were all discarded with uh, with this guy, right? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Yeah, I guess the, the, the island went in the graveyard, so sure. Do I just get to keep... I just get to shoot this and then shoot this and everybody dies? Okay, well, I was going to accrue this, but I guess we went right to the, to the thing. I'll go to six here. I ain't scared. Definitely not throwing my vampire away, that's for sure. They might have fungal infection? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we can deal nine kill you Do you have anything that I care about? I don't think so. Uh, if they would have bounced, if they they would have bounced it before I could activate it twice, so I don't foresee bounce being what they have. I mean, maybe. I have three cards. If they have blink, like, if they blink now, it's actually pretty good. Oh, geez. <laughs> He's an 8-8 eight eight now. All right, that's pretty good. I feel like we're pretty safe here. We're at a point where they like kind of have to block this guy now, so. We might just get to eat the Dijin. The Dijin. The Dijin, I said. I might get to eat the Dijin. Guys, you know what they say about, about pure blood. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick-ass boy. Damn. That's what I always say, anyway. 
Yeah, you're not going to keep letting me untap with this ability, so... That doesn't make any sense. I'm just going to attack. Wait, what? No block, huh? Okay, so you do have something. Okay, sure. <laughs> I don't think they can deal three here. Okay. I get to kill that, though. And I assume that's what you drew, or else you would have played it last turn. All right, we won the match. Just, uh, just to be clear, deck seems good. Was there anything we want to change? Was there anything that was like, oh, this card's not that great? I kind of like it. I kind of think our deck is sweet. Let's open gas? What is that? We're, we're already in the middle of a draft. What does that even mean, JC? All right, let's see, see what happens again. Oh, boy. Look at this double... Three three mountains in the deck, and uh, here here are two of them right now. I'm gonna ship this hand. Yep. You know what? Sure. <laughs> sure. Two very creature dependent cards in our hand. You got it. I want to live the dream, guys. Come on. <sighs> I wish we got Hexproof. This should give Hexproof too, right?
And that's why. All right, we're going to go to the next game because this is not actually fun. They also have double uh, double icy activations here, which is pretty brutal. We're going to invoke. Take out Adam at will. And you guys are probably like, you were real high life. You could just play it out. And I'm like, my time is more valuable than that. I'd rather play another game than, than uh, continue to be involved with the game where I'm not having fun. So. Um... Yargle, I've come to Bargle. No fun allowed. This is magic. Well, that's unfortunate. I had such high hopes for fun. I will play first again. I will keep this hand every single day. Fushina Panic, 100%. The funnest archetype to draft in Dominaria, in my experience, has been four and five color decks. Well, John Graham Dell, considering every day is Chicken Sunday, uh, yes, every day. Oh, dang. Horses.deck. Well, those aren't horses, Frank. That's a unicorn and a pegasus, respectively. Like, whatever you say, buddy. I'm pretty sure I just want to kill this Mesa unicorn now. Mike, tell us about your British government plan. <laughs> Every day, oh my biscuits. Good gravy. You know, activating this means we can go kill, kill, kill. And uh, that's pretty good. We don't want to attack here because then we can't crew. Mother of God. Yeah, it can still be Chicken Sunday if you're a vegetarian. That just means you interact favorably with chickens. You know, you have, you, you pet them, you feed them. Just make sure you give those chickens love. Oh, that's not. Oh, no. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, kill, kill. Kill. I guess we'll see what we hit first, right? I guess we'd have attacked with Unicorn if we did it first, but I don't know if I want to waste... Yeah, I do. I, I really do. I want to kill all of them. I want to take this Arvad. And we could have tapped this guy too. Unbelievable. So much value lost. I guess two value was lost. That's still a lot. I feel bad now. Yeah, it's not. That's not your finest work. No, that's not. It's not either. That's a... Oh my god, that was like the best draw ever. Tap this guy. Crew with this guy. Now it's like a six, seventeen, a million. Mm 
You block here, you take eight. Nah. I'm good like this. Yep, seems fine. Oh, uh, misses, but that's okay. Six, seventeen, one million. Each one sacrifices a creature. All right. Sure. That two damage is going to haunt us now because now we have six damage, but... I guess actually if we draw land, we can still... That was a pretty good draw. Both of these kill your 2-4. Seems good. Let's discard a fair... Uh, Sergeant at Arms. Six mana is going to cast both of these, but I'd rather you get back a 2-3 than a 5-5. Five, five. And it, all right, that'll do. Doesn't matter. Didn't matter. And we brought in Invoke, right? I guess we'll never know. Magic's being weird. Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we did. All right, cool. Yeah, I think we're good. What problem is? Oh, 617 is your birthday. Well, happy early birthday, JC. Two months early. Month and a half early. Two and a half months early. Yeah, it seems fine. A little slower, but fine. Can you explain my emotes, please? Um, all right, the heavy breathing cat should offer, should need no explanation. It's just the heavy breathing cat. Everybody knows that meme. Uh, the me lulling is, is just your typical Twitch lull. So it's just my take on lull, which is funny. I think it looks funny. Hungry Howies is a common, uh, a common meme for our stream. So the Hungry Howie's icon is is a is a is an emote. Uh, the Michael Scott cringe face is because Michael because the Office is one of uh one of the one of a popular show that we talk about here. Uh, oh my God, come on. On the stream, uh, Hunter is is Hunter the dog. Hunter the dog. Okay. That's good, because we have Soul Salvage. Uh, uh, FTL Pog is Pog Champ. Me, Pog Champ. Uh, the B was one from when I lived in Seattle. A lot of times when I was streaming, there would be a window right in front of me. And I would open it because it's Seattle, so you don't have AC, so you have to have the windows open. It's really nice outside, usually. But um, a lot of times, there would be bees like just flying around not like wasps or yellow jackets or anything scary but um like bees would actually come in like they would get through the, the screen so whenever there was a bee loose we would use the, the bee emote uh the ghost is for ghosting the salt is for salt mike b is mike b and then shrimp cat is just a cat he's that's just my cat so i feel like that's that's all of them Yeah, that's pretty good. I really want an answer for that guy. I don't want to really want to lose to this. That's super. That's super annoying. I don't actually know what answers we have to this, to be quite honest. To the six life a turn, flying vigilant, life linking Quende. 
Explain my emotes next. Um. Um. All right. Well, we're just dead in two turns now. There's literally nothing we can do against this. I guess we can top deck a Gideon's Reproach. Or Candle. Yeah, okay, so we have Reproach. Yeah, I guess we have three outs. I can think of three outs. Or, f nope, not Fire. Not Shiv and Fire. Yeah, they could have blocked there. I was tapped out. They could. This guy has Double Strike, so... I didn't even think about that. I just figured I could take down a 2-2, but... Yeah, we have Invoke. We have... I guess we can block next turn. It doesn't have Trample, so... God, this is ridiculous. Oh, that's pretty good. That's actually not terrible. I don't foresee us... Give Flight, Flight here. We block, we block... God, Quende just trades with Karazov. Good lord. Oh, aggressive. Well, we are at two after all. So, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So, got a block here. And got a block here. Alternatively, we keep Karazov alive for a turn. Like, they have Tragic Poet. They just get back the Sarah's Wings. The difference is both die, right? Yeah, let's do that. What's a modern draft? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> if we kept Karazov alive, we could actually shoot something here. That'd be pretty good. As it stands, we're actually dead. We can get back Avon Sentry, but... Yeah, well, Avon Sentry was dying anyway, so we always had a target for Soul Salvage. That's not really a... That wasn't really an issue. This stupid charge. Look, the charger had to be the card. How did wait? How did Quinde not die? They had to approach. Okay, I did, actually didn't even see that. All right, never mind. That's why we're doing. I, I was like, wait, shouldn't we be okay? We can get back Avon Century block here. Now we'd still be dead. All right, well, that's sad. Magic is hard. What can you do? <laughs> I don't know if I'm the best player in Florida, but I appreciate you saying so. Um... I will play first. This hand's great if we can get one planes. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to run this gambit. Gamble? It's a gamble, not a gambit. I'm going to run this gamble. We got two turns. Two turns to draw planes. <coughs> Realistically, I'll take any land because eventually we can hit Weatherlight, but... Huh. That's not a planes. That's a white card, so I appreciate your effort, Magic Online, but... Not what we're looking for here, buddy. Right on time. A 
I feel like a 2-4 for 3 or like a 1-4 or something like that in this format would be just really good. What's up, Zwapper? We play this because if we draw another planes, we can go Mesa Unicorn and Reproach or Banala Shiro. Multiple things. Also, if we draw on Sarah, if we draw a land for Onsara's wings, we can start getting in there. They missed a second land drop. Interesting. Someone is stuffed up. Someone has been sick for the past week or so. Unfortunately, I'm surprised you haven't noticed it sooner than that. I will not block either of your tiny gentlemen. No dauntless bodyguard left behind. Whatever that means in this context. Oh, wow. Okay. So, true. This is a one mana planes. All right. That is not a land. I also work from home. I play Magic the Gathering on the internet. Lyra Downbringer. Wow, that's a, that's sad. All right, so this guy chose this guy. So this guy can be indestructible by this guy sacking. So I'm going to block this guy. That's a confusing... Uh, that's a confusing little, little thing there. Also, if you guys want to support the stream, feel free to subscribe or follow. Both of those things help me out a ton. And uh, I do stream at least five days a week, so... Well, I'm not sick anyway. Tomorrow might be a little different. I do have a dentist appointment at 2 or 2.30 around there, which is my normal stream time. If I'm able to, I will be streaming afterwards, though. So, Man, way to be a real Lyra downbringer. Funny jerk! Oh, that's pretty good. You didn't put on the indestructible one. I like this. Yeah, that was good. I gained two life. Unbelievable. And I got rid of the good one. The next one, huh? All right. Land? Oh, you are a land, but you're a dirty land. What a dirty, dirty land. I'm just going to play this because... Oh, God. Next turn, we can keep both of these up. If we play both of these, next time we can weather light. I mean, on Sarah's wing should get us back in this game, presumably. Two thirty. Oh my god, you guys are the worst. Knock, knock, knocking on Sarah's wings. I don't even know if that has the same kind of, uh... I don't want to take six here, but I also don't... care. Hey, hey, hey. We're just going to take it. I'm going to go to eight. If we play Weatherlight, we can tap both these guys down. Attack with one. I guess they're already tapped down. I don't, I, don't get, I don't want to tap them down a second time, I guess. Oh my god. Maybe I just bring in the, Do I have a Radiant Lightning in my sideboard? I have a Fervent Strike. That's not the same thing at all. Land? I just want lands at this point. <gasps> That's not a land, but it is three life, which is not terrible here. So if we just get attack, we go to four, we go to 12. But we're not good at, this, she's not good at blocking is the problem. 
tap you and tap your friend. I'm probably going to block one of these guys, so I don't think I'm attacking. We're going to crew and block. Yeah, I don't like Ansara's wings here at all. Like, we gain 12, but then we take a million because we don't we can't block profitably. It's a 4-3 versus a board full of three power guys. I'd rather just play the Weatherlight and, uh, you know, do a, do a Weatherlight thing. Oh, God, you are the only person who wishes they brought back Banding. This is where they go invoke. Oh, God, I'll just cry. All right, now I don't care about these creatures anymore. We're just going to block everything. These were all being set up to crew the weatherlight, but since that's not happening. Charge! No, all right, we're going to five. We'll play compass. If we hit a land, we can play honor guard, Gideon's. Yeah, all right, sure. And now I'm definitely at a point where we can on Sarah's wings this guy. And it, it gives itself plus one, plus one. Or plus one, plus zero oh, because it's... So it's a 4-3. That's pretty good. Knock, knock, knocking on heavens. No, oh, whoa. Wow. Joke's on you. You probably should have invoked this, buddy. I think neither phasing nor banding should come back. You guys are monsters. And, uh... <laughs> Didn't I listen to that? No, man. Like, I make my own, I make my own path. Yeah, Sarah's Wings makes the creature legendary. Therefore, it gets plus one, plus oh. Oh, man. People correcting me in chat is my favorite thing. When they're just wrong. Oh, that's the best. If you're ever going to correct a streamer who's who's uh, who you think is wrong, do yourself a favor. Read the cards you're going to comment on. And then just, just double check. That's all. I'm not saying, you're, I'm not saying the, the streamers are always 100% right. But just double check. Oh my god. This could not have gotten better. <sighs> my turn. Oh, and we get to keep that up? Oh boy. Oh boy. Nice to meet slash beat you. Wow. Wow. Yeah, same. <laughs> good times, good times.
Okay. I guarantee you put a land into play. You didn't put a land into play. All right. Still 12 to 17. A lot closer than it was, and we have removal in hand, so. And we can make some dudes next turn. It does take us away from uh, Karamazov mana, but what can you do? I am a movie guy, and I know lots of movie quotes and such. Yes, that is that is an accurate statement to make. Grun or Untamed Kavu? I would take Untamed Kavu. Uh, I think it's a stronger card in, uh, in, in on turn... Turn 2 and turn 5 are much more relevant than turn 6 and turn 9. Um, <clears throat> it's also 1 green rather than 2 green. <laughs> I like Darren Aronofsky. Um... Pi, Pi was, I, I love Pi. Wow, that is aggressive. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Got there anyway. All right. Seems good. So now we have seven mana. We can pretty much cast anything in our deck other than Jaya's Immolating Inferno. Uh, favorite, favorite film? Um, it's actually a good question. That's a good draw. Um, I have a top list. I have a top films list. I don't know. It's hard to say. I haven't really thought of favorite movies in a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight damage on board. All right. <laughs> it's probably not Casino Royale, though. I do love. I do love uh, Daniel Craig's Bond. <clears throat> I don't understand what OP meant by on your own either. Oh, I think they meant like on your, like when I played Sarah's wings, they were like, oh, on your own guy. I see. Yeah, good game. Good game, brah. Well, good the game. I'm tempted to take out the, well, they have invoke for this, which is unfortunate. Um, they also have invoke for our compass and our and our on Star's Wings, they have a bunch of... They have double Invoke in the main deck. I'm going to bring in my Invoke as well. I'm going to Invoke my Invoke, you might say. This also seems like the perfect Divest deck. Hmm. Oh my god, they had Broken Bond and double Invoke in the main deck. Wow, that is... That is significant. I kind of just want a bunch of stupid idiot creatures, right? Like, all these dirty two drops to block his two drops. I almost kind of want to take the red out, just because it's... Not really, though. 
If we just got rid of our artifacts, then on Sarah's wings is still a target, so it doesn't change anything. And like losing Weatherlight just to hope they don't have the their, their invoke like is not great. I'm gonna bring you in. Take out this. Actually, Soul Salvage is probably good because we're gonna be trading a bunch of guys early. Take out Feral Abomination and and plus we can also final parting for a mountain if we absolutely have to. I kind of like Sparring Construct just because it blocks so many of their things. So a Stronghold Confessor, but that's a better card. Gotta cut one thing. Probably Blood Tallow Candle. It's a little expensive here. The sand seems great. <laughs> we got two, two, two dirtily dudes to trade, and then we can actually get them back with Soul Salvage. So, did they? Oh wow, they chose not to play first. That is interesting. Intriguing. Actually, the quote is, that's a bold strategy, Cotton. People always say move, but the, the quote is actually strategy, so. Can we live this god darn dream, dude? The actor's name who plays Kit, who plays Jon Snow, I think is Kit Harrington. Is that right? That is correct. I win the prize. Undrum Tune also wins the prize. Two prizes were given today. Sure. My two mana guy for your three mana guy. Deal. Didn't play anything here. I'll just attack. I mean, if you have a way to kill this guy, fine. I'm just going to play Trapper here. And then next turn, maybe we can Yargle tap a thing, and then on Sarah's Wings tap a thing. Sure. If you want to trade two 1 1s for a or Macy Unicorn, that is 1000% okay.
Turn four, one drop. Okay. Mm, okay. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just I'm just gonna cast this to hit a land here. Oh. Uh put two cards in your hand. I'll put planes and mountain into my hand. Alright. Well that was That was lands. Next turn we can Yargle. Yargle, I've come to Bargle. Like you do. This is literally just, yeah, look at this guy without the flavor text. Love it. When Bells and Locks Lieutenant Yar Kull grew too ambitious, the Demon Lord transformed him into a maggot. The frog that ate the maggot grew and grew until a ravenous spirit burst from its body. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? You gonna choose this guy? Okay. I mean, this is cute, but 3-2 is not. I think a 9, a 10-4 ten, a ten is better than a 3-2, but what do I know? If we hit another land, we can go Yargle next turn, and then next turn we can the turn after that we can play Onsar's Wings and Soul Salvage. Together. Knock knock knocking on Yargle's doe. I mean, if we attack with this, they block, they gain three, and they make it indestructible. That seems bad. The alternative is tapping this guy down, and then they block here. Even if we get one hit in with Yargle, it's still pretty good, right? I'm just going to pass here. <coughs> oh, boy. Can all of our froggy dreams come true? I don't know. Let's find out. Yep, no blocks. I do not have the... They have one card in hand. What are the odds it's one of their three artifact slash enchantment removal spells? Like a thousand? That was actually an insane draw. I think it's going to be 1,000% Invoke or the other one. But we'll see. We're living the dream. The dream hath, the dream hath died. They have no cards in hand? All right. This is a fair trade. Eight and one deal. Peace out. And they're in top tech mode and we get to get back Yargle and Mesa Unicorn, I guess. Seems good. In a vacuum, do you think Muldrotha or Traxos is better? What does Traxos do? Oh, the, uh, in a vacuum, I think Traxxas, or, uh, Moldatha is better, right? In a, it's, a, in a vacuum is a weird way to put that. Like, in a vacuum, like, I don't know what, what lands you have. So, if you're Sultai, take the Moldrotha. If you're not Sultai, take the, take the Traxxas. Uh, like, how many, how many, how many ways do you have to untap it? In a, in a vacuum, Moldatha never needs to be untapped. It untaps naturally, right? 
in a vacuum, Traxos does nothing because you can never you can never untap it literally because you're in a vacuum. So that's a weird question. Also, what color mana do you have in your vacuum? Because, uh... Let's get Yargle and Mace Unicorn. <coughs> Excuse me. If you guys are art fans, you should check out uh, a YouTube channel called The Art Assignment. Uh, they just uploaded a video on Gustav Klimt's The Kiss, which is a really famous painting. You probably have seen it before, I would imagine. Maybe not. What do I know? Look at that compass. It allows me to cast Jaya's Immolating Inferno, just in case. The, the, Daniel, the channel is called The Art Assignment. I'll actually link it in the chat. There's also an age-old argument about, uh, you know, art, and people are like, well, I could do that. And it, there's also a video called, um, uh... I, I can't think of the name of it, but it's really good. And it explains, like, why just because you can do something doesn't mean, like, it, it doesn't invalidate the art. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense? I'm not giving it uh, a, an adequate explanation because I'm playing Magic the Gathering right now, so. I'm actually going to let one of these guys die. Reproach is probably a stronger card to help keep... Yargle alive, especially if they're taking 12 here. And I think we've won this game. All right, sweet. That is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. That deck went, was was pretty sweet despite our, our round uh, two loss. But uh, either way, I, I never felt like we were completely out of it. I felt like we had some strong cards. And uh, splashing for red was definitely worth it. Drives and Lighting Flame is a strong card. Emulating Inferno, rather. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, or, uh, you know, you can hit the buttons above, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.